Super Mario 3D Land. Welcome back to day three of 12 days of gaming. So today we're playing Super Mario 3D Land. Now, today's a little bit, this day is pretty special. Instead of playing the game, I will be showing you some interesting glitches that I have found in it. We will be playing... So, I've beaten the whole game. I've gotten the secret world. I've gotten stars on everything. All special eight worlds. I've got. I've 100% complete every single level I've beaten with both characters top of the flagpole. But I was playing back because it's a fantastic game. Um, all of these I have found. And, so yeah. To start off, you're going to need Luigi. And a fire. You've always been the fast one, right? You know, the tall and fast one. Jump high. You know him. But... There's a way to, well, how about you see? I found this one out by accident while I was trying to do a normal long jump as far as Luigi, but you can get some pretty crazy results. So grab a fire flower as Luigi, and not a huge opened area, but good enough. Now, what you're going to want to do, see if I can get the camera to focus. Uh huh. Is so you're going to want to do a long jump, a rolling long jump in another way. So if you don't know how to do how how to do, so you just roll and then press A to do a jump. But all you need to do is press Y, then the bumpers, and do the rest. So pretty much just press Y a little bit earlier, and what will happen is Luigi will shoot a fireball, then do a long jump. So do this like weird throwing into a flip motion, and after that. After he does that, if you just hold down the game pad circle, he will go, he will run crazy fast. So, seeing if that will help it focus. Perfect. So, this is what it's going to look like. Oh, I didn't do it right. So, that's what it's going to look like. You notice how nothing happened because... Did you see that? See how fast Luigi went right there? Pretty cool. Now, not only is this helpful for speed runs, but it also looks pretty ridiculous. So, having another World 1 2 glitch, all these three Koopas can be manipulated into getting Infinity Lives. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch or just like almost an Easter egg throwback because they do have this in Mario World. But if you stand right in the middle and get on the right point, like I just did, you'll be able to get Infinity Lives. You can do one there. The other one, and the easiest one, is stand under here, come out onto the edge a little bit, jump. Ah, I messed up there. Come a little farther out. Well, anyways, you get the idea. Every single Koopa Shell works, which, in my opinion, if you can see my life right there, it can actually get three crowns, which is 1,110. So that is pretty cool. Now, moving on, if there's something that I noticed that is, uh, there's something that I noticed on World 1, 3. Two things are here, actually. Well, one of these is not much, one of these is not a glitch, but a way to pretty much beat the level in crazy time. First, I'm going to show you the glitch. Now, I figured out this actually works on all of them, so I'll show you all of them. I'm just starting out with this because it's on the world I'm on. But, on this world, there's something pretty weird going on. You can do this with Mario or Luigi, but if you go into the um, special cloud area by jumping on the trampoline thing, something weird happens every single time that I just can't explain. This works on every single cloud zone. Some of them have gotten more funny results than others. This is just the one that I got. If you crouch and walk off a cliff, no matter where it is, the game just is not expecting it, and I don't know, but it hasn't programmed the falling. So the screen will be wh white, and then you'll just die? Pretty weird, right? Now, before we leave this world and show you some of the funniest results I've actually gotten by doing the cloud walk-off, if you stand right here in the middle, 
right there. Wait. Yeah, right there. And do a, get to the very edge, and then do that. Ready for it? Then lean to the side with enough maneuvering. Oh, I've gotten top of the flagpole. But you can make it all the way down. So that's pretty helpful for some speed ones, right? Yeah. Moving on, though. Are you about, there's something that's about to happen that is probably my favorite glitch in the game that I've found. This is crazy. Head over to, I forget, what world was it? I'm pretty sure it was world four or six. Is it you? Where is it? But there's this one result that is pretty, yep, here it is. World six, level six. If you go into the cloud zone, actually, I'm not even gonna tell you. Just watch. Oh, wrong level again. This is not the right one. But this isn't the one that I was looking for, but I'll show it to you anyways. Wait, there is no trampoline on this one. Yep. I think it's on normal six then, but nope, not going to tell you. I'll just tell you this. It is amazing. Like, this is a pretty awesome glitch. If I can find it, that'd be helpful too. Sorry. Yep, 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 yep. So, yes, go up to the bonus area in this level. Not sure if this is it, actually. I don't think this is it. It starts with trampoline. Well, yeah, world four, level three. So, again, this is the funniest result I have been able to see. On the other one, you died, right? On one of them that I've not shown you, it's pretty boring. The screen stays white until you let go of the crouch button. But this one. Now, there's something weird about this one. When I was trying it on everything, when I did it one time, it just made you standing and it was normal. But I tried it in a couple different areas. And if you come right here, where this guy's walking, and you walk off like this, this happens. Luigi, or Mario, is stuck floating in air. And the only way to get him out of there is to exit the level. Well, sorry for the short episode. Tomorrow's hopefully will be better, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.